So dummy clips are pretty interesting here. And the way that you approach this is you're sending the material from one track and sending it to another track. So as you can see here, we've got our audio being sent to what we're calling a dummy track, which is just an audio track, right? And then what we can do is we can either drag in pretty much any file we want. If I go over to um, just some loops, I could actually drag that in. And then what I can do is just go to my volume here and just turn it, just turn this whole thing down. Now there's no volume, then what you can do is you can go in and you can assign the effects. So what I've done here is I've dropped four different effects on here. And by, by default, they're all off. So when I come over to here, what I can now do is I can go to any of the effects and I can turn that effect on and automate that. And that's what I did over here. So basically I just uh, created a blank clip like this with no volume and duplicated it several times. So I could add different effects to each one of the dummy clips. So I, if I come up here, I start with the top one, which is dry, which is basically all the effects are off. That way you can return to the normal sound of the original file. And then these, as we come in here, like to erosion, you can see I've made some automation on different aspects of the effect. Same here with the grain delay and so forth. So this way we can use these clips to affect this automatically. Also, what you're doing here, you're sending the audio to the dummy clip. You're turning your monitor here off. You wanna make sure that you don't have any uh, audio input here uh, because you're setting your monitor to in and you don't want like a microphone causing any feedback or anything. So make sure to do that. And then once you have that set up, you're pretty much ready to go. So we'll start with dry. And then we'll add our erosion clip. Grain delay. Flange. show you some of this. And then back to dry. So that is uh, what dummy clips can do. And you can assign like as many effects as you want to one clip and you can make that clip length as long as you want to create really interesting automations. I just did these really quickly to give you an example of what you can do with this.